random dad, dad, dad stuff. stuff. Yeah. You guessed it right. Today's video is all about ping pong, or those in the know call it table tennis, because obviously it's just tennis on a table. So let me teach you a little bit about it. This is the table. And uh, there's going to be some other people teaching you all about what the other things that go along with table tennis are. Here we go. My name is ES Jingle Jangle Paddlehead. And I've been playing professional backyard table tennis for over 18 years. And my paddle is the Pro Spin, number the 18,472, only one of its kind, number 1328, minus the C Sync Construction. I also use the Pro Spin 40 Plus Made in China ball, my favorite ball. Let's get started. My name is ZS McToonsizer, and I have been playing table tennis for over 18 years. My favorite paddle is the Pro Spin 8000. And my favorite ping pong ball is the Pro Spin 40 Plus. Okay, so obviously these guys are, are on another level. So uh, let's, see, uh, let's see some of their favorite moves, some of their serves and uh, see if I can even return one of their serves. My favorite serve is a McTutenstein special. Wow, that was a good serve. You couldn't even return it. Exactly. My favorite serve is the Paddlehead Sidewinder. There we go, professional. All right, I'm gonna try to return one of these professional serves. Which serve are you gonna do? I think I'm gonna hit him with the Paddlehead Sidewinder. Let's go. Close, close. This is what I call the Jingle Jangle Master Brickhead Paddlehead Paddlehead ES Sidewinder Master 3000. See if you can do this. The wind was a bit too strong on that one, so it moved a bit over to the left. So that's why he was able to snipe it very well. The wind also moved it up, gave it a bit of lift, which caused him to be able to just snipe it. I think I was just just that good. I I was able to return the uh, the wibble wobble, jingle jangle, wibber wabber, slap head paddle three thousand es you? serve. That is one of the worst serves in history. We don't okay. really ever talk about. It. Well, let's let's learn about some other things of table tens here. Do you have any tips or tricks for the for the first time outdoor table tennis player? Um, first time table tennis players. Um, all you need to do is just get better. Do you have any tips for first time players or new players? Yes, I actually do. So for outside table tennis and table tennis in general, try to learn your opponents strategies, the way they hit it, and how hard they hit it, the direction they hit it, so that you're able to counter it, any move they do. So would you say you need to be able to uh, calculate the trajectory? Yes. So does a understanding of math and complex geometry help? Yes. So most balls, when you hit them, if there's no wind interference or anything, they travel in a basically perfect parabola. So if you're smart enough to be able to calculate where it's going to go, you can tell that it's either going to hit on or off. So you can not hit it or hit it. And how do you test the wind? The wind, you just feel if the wind's blowing. Just just try to like... How do you calculate the wind? Um, that's all. Because you can feel the wind going up against the saliva on your finger, and yeah. then you know which direction it's going. All right, let's see all that in action. Think we're good. Yes. What happened? I don't know. 
Hit Maybe it too hard. Maybe was a little too wet. Yeah. What are some other tips when there's various gusts of wind? A tip is to try to go a little bit more in the direction that, uh, the opposite direction that the wind is blowing so you can get your serve the same way that it would normally be. What are some mental strategies you use against your opponents? Um, make distracting noises. That messes them up. And then uh, you get points. Um, also, you can just really make them think that you're gonna hit it and then go a different direction and then that confuses them. Or find their weak point and hit there and that should do it. Hey. Yes. Oh. 360. 360. Oh. Go. The wind was blowing a bit too much. So is that is that 360 spin um, to counteract the air vortex? Yes. Um, is it is that like a level seven move? That was a relatively slow spin, so that's why the trajectory trajectory was a bit off. So if I were to spin much faster and go like that to move my paddle as a gust of wind, it would have moved it slightly more. Oh, a little too little too much air turbulence there. Yeah. Um. All right, can I, can I try another one? All right, I'm gonna to try to return a serve against the, the great ZS McTutenstein here. Um, you give me any clues what, what serve you're gonna do? No, thanks. All right, here we go. Choose your paddle. Um, I'm gonna go with this one. It looks like it's had a lot more use. It has more experience. Meaning this one is the one eliminated. Um, Okay. What happened there? Um, I think my math was off a little bit because I, I did my calculations um, by hand and uh, I think my slide rule was, was a little bit off. So, um, let me, let me make those calculations again and, uh, and try again. I have a tip for you. Okay. Never give them a chance to snipe you. Don't hit it high enough for them to snipe you. So keep it low to the net. Yes, unless you add a lot of spin in there that they're not expecting. Okay, so should my calculation be based on five or six? 5.72. 0.72, okay, I'll do that. Let's see how it works. The Serve of the Century by Random Dad Stuff. Here we go. It works, 5.72. I'll put that into my calculations. So do you have any tips for me? He, he, he taught me about the geometry and all that. What tips do you have for me? Don't do the geometry. Just follow the flight path of the ball and you'll know. So just rely on my, my gut? No. Rely on my instincts? Yeah, pretty much. Isn't that what relying on your gut means? No, because your guts are inside of you. Oh. Dancing are just something you have. Okay. Let's see see how that works. Here we go. <laughs> I did not try. <laughs> what? Try <laughs> again. <laughs> Yeah. Whip. Yep. This is working. I'm relying half on geometry, half on instincts. Mm. I think it's going great. Rely more on the geometry. Yep. Yep. There we go. How are you losing? I don't know. I shouldn't have given that him, him that information. All right. Game point. Here what? we go. No. Yes! Calculated the wind trajectory just right. Calculated the geometry of the parabola. Made the uh, coefficient of 5.72, thanks to ES Super Paddle Wonder Whoop. It's ES 
Paddlehead. Oh, no, yes. Yes, uh, Jingle Jangle Paddlehead. Yes, Jingle Jangle Paddlehead. Um, Something around there. Thank him. That was a nice warm up. I'll go harder next time. No. I'll beat you. No, you won't. We'll see. Game point 10 4. Over and out. How's it feel to win? It was good. That was a nice warm up match. Okay. Um, I will practice, and next time I'm gonna beat ES Fiddle Fat. What was it? ES Jingle Jangle. ES Jingle Jangle Paddlehead Fiddle Faddle. See you guys next time. Random Dad Stuff over and out.